Hi everybody, welcome back to Quarantine Cooking with Carolyn. Today, in keeping with my ethnic theme, uh, I'm going to show you a Cuban dish. And what I'm going to show you today is ropa vieja. And what that translates to in Cuban is old clothes. And when you do this meal, it's a crock pot meal, and when the meat cooks down, it shreds and it looks like old clothes. So isn't that an interesting, fun bit of trivia? So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, I have the skillet behind me warming up and I have one teaspoon of canola oil in the pan. So that's already going. And in front of me here, I have got one pound of flank steak. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to season it with one teaspoon of cumin and half a teaspoon of salt. Let me just get that out of the way. And then I'm gonna turn it over and that's total. Oops, we got a little piece of wax paper there. That's okay. So, my measuring spoons are very lyrical today. They're just they're a nice tone. And then I'm going to put this in the skillet behind me. In the pan this goes. And this is going to cook for about two minutes on each side. We're not looking to cook it all the way through. We're just looking to get a little bit of color on it. So while this is cooking, let's talk about the rest of the ingredients. So what you'll need to finish off this recipe is one onion, thinly sliced, one red pepper, thinly sliced, and one small jalapeno, diced. Then you'll need a little bit more cumin. You'll need one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes, drained. You'll need two bay leaves, half a cup of pimento stuffed olives, diced or chopped up. You will also need one to two cloves of garlic minced or one teaspoon if you are using the pre-minced jarred garlic. And our steak is done. So I'm going to remove that to a clean plate and then I'm going to turn the heat off for a second and I'm going to spray the same pan with some cooking spray. And I just turn it off for safety reasons, okay? We don't... There we go. So we turn that back on and now to the same pan I'm going to add my onion, pepper, and jalapeno. And we're just going to cook these stirring occasionally until they get soft. Okay, our vegetables are cooked and we're just going to put those right straight away into the slow cooker. Now I'm gonna warn you, when you're cooking that jalapeno, you might start to cough. And if that's the case, make sure you have a glass of water nearby to prevent that. It's, I, I don't know what it is about it, but anyway, so, it also goes in on, with the vegetables, that 14 ounce can of drained chopped tomatoes, the half a cup of chopped pimento olives, my husband says that's the best part of this dish, the two bay leaves, I got these bay leaves in Turkey last year, that was so much fun, another, uh, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of the minced garlic, another teaspoon of cumin, and another half teaspoon of salt. Then we are going to just stir all of that up, just like so. And we are going to add the steak on top. I'm gonna to put that little bit of juice in there. And we're going to cover it and we're going to cook that 
for four to five hours on high or six to eight hours on low. My Ropa Vieja is done and I wanted to show you what it looks like coming out of the crock pot. So it's basically still a full, a whole steak in there. That flank steak is still whole. But if I kind of hold it down a little bit with this fork and just pull with the tongs, you can see that it just shreds the way it ought to. Just like that. So I am going to serve this over brown rice and I'm going to serve it with a green vegetable and you can serve it with whatever you like. Rice is fairly traditional um, in Cuba. And then I'm going to pour the vegetables over as well. And I'm going to pull out these bay leaves because you don't want those. So here's another piece of yummy piece of meat. And let's pull out, oh, there's the other, there's the other bay leaf. We'll get rid of him in a minute. Well, let's get rid of him right now since I can see him. There we go. All right, and with the vegetables and the olives, it's really quite colorful too. So there you go. That is all there is to this, guys. Um, coming in the house tonight, it smelled so good. So give this a try, guys. I know you've got this.